Okay, everybody, you're not going to see us, but you'll hear us because we want to make sure. I mean, they did get to see a lot of us a minute ago, but we're going to go around through the house, through the basement so that you can actually see what we were talking about because uh, we just don't, the connection has been awful. So that's all right. So uh, as I said before, we were kind of in this big room. Amy showed you their meeting space. This wall here is showing you the delineation between the house, the original house, and the uh, extension that was built probably in the 60s uh, when they did the garden club was moving in because if you saw our picture, you'll see that it had that extension. So we got this parlor room, which we kind of talked about, so I don't necessarily need to go. The furniture is not necessarily original, but it's period is what we were told. As correct. close as they could get. A lot of it was donated by other garden members mm -hmm. to make the place beautiful. Right. Um, you'll see the floors. These are uh, a narrow, narrower plank than we think possibly um, might not be the originals, but you also have the doorways. Show you why we may not... We don't think these are original floors mm -hmm. when we go into the basement. Do you want to step outside? Yeah, we can step for out for a second. second. Because this, this, I think this was added by one of the families. Yes, yeah, so we have okay. the lovely curved staircase. I'm going to go down just a second though, yeah. too, because you can see the little gazebo. A lot of weddings happen there. But also, I think some of this front work, excuse my hand. Um, is not necessarily original either. We'll make sure you Definitely see that not. picture. We, they think, uh, we did read that the Myers, perhaps, they think oh, that yeah. the Myers the added difference. all of this detail when they moved in. So the original house was, did not have all of the ornate detailing, the it. style, yeah. style kind of look. Yeah. Of um, I so. think I was reading somewhere they kind of termed it uh, provincial, provincial Regency or Provincial Adams style, like there's there's a little bit more to it, but um, but yeah, here's the front door, shutter work, brick stairs. Kennesaw Avenue is making that lovely traffic noise behind us. But this is interesting, but this style too is definitely not. I mean, this has to be 20th century, maybe early 20th mm. century, but I don't think this because if you look at the the way it's created, I don't think that's. Well, you remember how, well, we'll kind of discuss, but we had, you had read that, and they were told that the second floor had been, like, an apartment. Yes. So maybe that's, that's one true. of the... They, when they turned it into apartments, now that was in the 70s. Yeah. When it lived in the second floor in the 70s, so the garden center possibly rented the second floor out as additional income, mm -hmm. and they used the first floor. Yeah. But yeah, this could be 70s. I mean, I think, I just feel like this is 20th century with, this, with the pattern on the mm -hmm. here of the stair and the... Pretty, it's pretty stout. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying. I think if it was any older, it would be rocking a little bit. I um, I'll look. Bit. I'll post yeah. another picture yeah. of the building. We did post one earlier, and I never looked to see if the stairs were there. Uh, did you post the one that I found on Davis's page? I did not post okay, that one. We could, sh yeah, yeah, we could post that. Um, which I think was during Squire's time is what we've kind of dis yeah. discussed. So there is also this little library right here. I love this green color. I'm oh, such a yeah. sucker for green. Yes. Actually, you kind of match it. Oh, good. Your shirt does. But it's got a little piano, not and I'm not an original one, but it also has just you know. It is a period piano. It is a period one, yeah. So 1850s, I guess. Uh, 1860s. 1860s. Yeah. So you got you know wonderful research books for the garden clubs, but over here. Oh yeah. Well, hold on. Before we do that, I want to show this. You see this big one right here. That yes. is in a first edition of Marietta's The First 100 Years that we were talking about research-wise. The copies uh, that most people have are, are green. green. Mm -hmm. And it, the originals are red. And one interesting side fact is that Margaret Mitchell referred to this when she was using it for research when riding on the wind. Mm -hmm. She referred to it as the red whale. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Because it is... The green one's a little bit more... Um, con not condensed, but it, it doesn't seem as big. And I don't think it is as big. It's got, oh, sorry guys, I keep running my hand over the camera. Um, but look, look everybody, scrapbook. They've got some scrapbooks from the Marietta Garden Club. This is in 1928. Well, I think that's just when it's organized. I don't oh. think that's the year that one's oh, made. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> don't worry, I'm, try, I'm trying to get these for our collection. Don't worry, everybody. Okay, oh, you're uh, right, because it's going into 1934 here. So, uh, 35, let's see. Ooh, let's hold on. Let's see some of these names though. Okay. Who do we got? Oh, we got some Brumbies. We got, oh, Mrs. D.C. Cole. 
Uh, let's see who else. Oh, uh, Hancock. I think I have her picture in Cordelou Dupree. Yeah. These are all names that we have. Schilling. <gasps> oh, look, look, Mrs. R. W. Northcutt. If you saw um, our cow one, same family. That's right. And oh, Schillings. Yeah, yeah there Schilling. you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Sibley there too. Look at all of these mm -hmm. names. So I, I, had I do want like to point out too that these are all um, white women. I don't know when they started having if they integrated the garden club or if African American women had their own garden clubs. Mm -hmm. That'd be something I'd love to know. Yeah. So if anyone out there knows that, please share. I think there was a separate one actually. Now that okay. you're ringing the bell there yeah. for me. But see, look so, at how look at I mean, hold on, look at the yeah. artwork, man. Oh, no, I wish beautiful. I could do that. Beautiful. I'm trying to see what year this might be from 34 program, 34. I think these are 34 because these are all mid thirties. Yeah. You think? Yeah. So these are all from 34. So, um, we do have a number of different garden clubs, scrapbooks in our collection. Oh, Ooh, look at those ladies. Regina. Yep. That's her. 1934. You don't, I don't even need it to be identified. I know no. her face when I see it. The, um, Emma Catherine Anderson. She oh. was a nurse, a Red Cross nurse in France during World War One. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So um, we're going to try and get these over to the History Museum for preservation purposes. Uh, but we do have a number of Garden Club uh, scrapbooks, including uh, Flower. No, wait, this is well, this is Garden Club, Flower Garden Club bridal wreath. So a number of different ones. One thing that we'll suggest, even if we don't take it, is that they take these metal paper clips. Mm -hmm. off because that is not good for the paper or the photographs there are the plastic well plastic based ones that are really good that are much better to use look at those mm -hmm. those are great pictures somebody's garden i don't know whose garden this is but it's somebody's and maybe we'll even if we can't oh, get that's them. oh that's a mcneil never mind i was thinking it was jenny tate so yeah if um if we can't get these over to us we, we might come over and try and scan these pictures yeah so yeah there's a few others oh that's um is that atlanta road mm -hmm. yeah that's so a the, the gate center i mean gate city or something like yeah that. that's a pretty iconic image. this sign i believe one of these signs is at the welcome center. yes the welcome center does mm -hmm. have one but that's atlanta road coming into the city mm -hmm. um but yeah these there are there, oh there's a better one yeah. actually hold on that's a better view yeah see that guys right there so yeah, we will we'll get we'll make sure these are taken care of. And I think there's what, four or five total? Yeah, there's a couple. So okay. yeah. I know I again sit there and squirrel. Do that all day. I know. Squirrel for her. Okay. So yeah, there's just more garden books. And this room is a rather small room. So let's make our way back through. We're gonna go upstairs in just a minute. Uh, this is the dining room. But originally they said that this, they was think this, the, this was the master bedroom. Okay, that makes That's sense. what they, yeah, what they determined. Um, so, yeah, and then, you know, this guy right here, I know it's not, but he kind of reminds me of Charles McDonald, the governor. Uh, it's not, but it gives me that vibe. I don't know why. Time period. Time period's right, but the vibe about him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then um, you guys have some of the doors. He seems the doorknobs with the keyholes that's and then a little passageway through and then this is more of the kind of extension mm -hmm. with the kitchen area my personal favorite <laughs> stand yeah. in the doorway stand in the doorway so they get an idea all right everybody <laughs> this is the doorway now Amy needs, it's the men's room <laughs> it's not a tall door <laughs> um, lady get the ladies get the better one which i yes. greatly appreciate um now, why don't, keep in mind while yeah. we're standing here i believe that because when we go in the basement, we'll show you, I think that the original footprint, sorry, I just got distracted by something, but <laughs> the original footprint of the house either ended here, and then this was a porch. However, if you look at the, I don't know when these doors were put in, but um, either this area was a porch or the original house ended here, and there was a porch extending off of this, which I think that's actually more accurate. I think the original house footprint possibly ended here, mm -hmm. and then there was a porch extending off of the back. And so okay. when we go into the basement and we look up, we'll kind of talk about that a little bit more. But what, what I just went, um, got sidetracked. I, I, I think I know what it was. I know. Was I'm it? Like, why? This look, is everybody. Going, look. Why is there an attic entrance that, if there's a second floor? 
Oh, uh, well, kiss a crawl space. I mean. I guess so. No, my personal favorite it's is. Not in her room, but. Oh, well, I don't know what the gap is between that. I mean, we have them at the museum on the third floor, and it's the roof above us. I know. I put my head. I know you have. <laughs> so we're gonna um, actually circle kind of back around. Let's go up the stairs. Okay. We're gonna kind of be a little bit loud when we go upstairs because the ladies are working, and we're gonna wait. I passed. Being quiet. We're going this way. Oh, whatever that way. Oh, okay. No, we want to be loud because they're gonna move out of the space. Oh. Sorry, y'all, I got distracted on what way. Okay, these stairs, I'm telling you, are steep, and they have a turn, so. I don't think they're original wood. They're, this wood does not feel no. like it's replaced. Yeah, but I, think, but I think the treads and every, or not the treads, but the placement of them is probably right, because yeah, this is sure. so steep, mm -hmm. and I do have to use the hand around because it is, it's a turn. You can see out here we got a little roof line, more of the floors. And the floors are a little bit wider planked up here. Mm -hmm. So again, this is the Junior League. They have some of their storage spaces here. They do have a kitchen up here, which we will not be going into. Um, our wonderful friends of the Junior League. Oh, there's another attic space. Look, oh. see, she found another one, everybody. But just so you get an idea, there are doorways out here. Much, like, yeah. If you look right there. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of cool. There's a tiny over here. So yeah, they both. Yeah, you're right. That's better. Look, tiny little doorknobs, and they are original. It looks like there's there's a neat little locking mechanism on there with one of those old school skeleton and key kind mm -hmm. of openings. And then we're going to show you closet the kitchen area. spaces right there, but um, we're not going to go into that. And this is a closet area. And the others are identical. They've redone yeah. these closets for storage space. So you really can't... Um, yeah, it's just more of... Mm -hmm. Often when you go in closets, it'll tell you some more of the history because people don't redo their closets, mm -hmm. but those have been redone so that they can use them. So. so yeah, we'll creak our way back downstairs. We do also... Ha um, I think I've mentioned how... Sorry, guys. There you go. See what it looks like. It's pretty treacherous. We're going to head back outside show you Amy's favorite new spot mm -hmm. if we get a call sometime that there's somebody at the garden center in the basement it's gonna be Amy probably donors for the house probably donations of a hundred dollars or more first the first 400 because cool. this took a good I think 500,000 maybe to get it all fixed in the way it needs to be but so this way we're going to head outside. See, all, all of this is just an addition. All right, there we go. All right, we are outside. So the neighborhood is right over here. I believe that's uh, Ch the Com not the Commons. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. But, yeah, so there's a little parking lot. And we're going to... Actually, hold on. Before we get on stairs, do you mind if I show them... <sighs> There's little spaces over here, too, and we'll come back in a minute because Amy wants to sh go underneath the deck. Yes. Shocking. <laughs> she said, what are you kidding? Flip-flops. I said, watch me. <laughs> well, actually, I probably, when I said can't, was like, challenge. Like, oh, shouldn't, shouldn't go under in flip-flops. That's probably the best. Shouldn't. <laughs> but... <laughs> So when you come into the basement here, you'll notice that this is a cinder block area here. Obviously, this is a newer addition, which is in line with the offices upstairs, the newer addition. Yeah. But you definitely have that old basement smell. So if we had smell-o-vision, you would know. Um, it is musty. Uh-huh. Um, it is humid. Yes. Um, These are some doors that they pointed out that came from inside, original doors possibly. And there's, again, there's another lock. Yeah. That's the original lock there. I took some, some pictures of these, so we'll post okay, these, good. too. Yeah, those but. are some cool doors there that they used. I don't see any other little secrets hiding. No. Now, do we think this brick here maybe? I think that it's definitely a later addition right there, and it may have been part of the support system for a porch. Okay. Gotcha. You'll Possibly. see in a minute. Why we Why think it's late. Why does this rock have a urn? Urns in loving memory of Lamar Franklin, 
given by his wife, Lavert Franklin. We know about the Franklins. I do know about the Franklins. Uh... <laughs> okay. Here you so, see, look. If you're wondering who the Franklins are, that is Franklin Road. You know, there's no ashes in there, is there? <laughs> the urns. urns. No, so I can read it. Obviously, it used to be next to an urn. I don't know where the urns are. Now. Uh, I don't know either. Um, let's point out here. Here's another brick area that was probably some sort of a support for either an extension on the house or a porch. But um, this doorway, it's got an older knob, but not original. So mm -hmm. again, the store frame and doorway was put on at some point. And, I mean, later. height wise, it's it's a smaller door frame too. It's not. I mean, it's probably yes. Amy's height, like five seven, five yeah. eight ish. It's not. Or maybe. I mean, I don't think it's six feet for sure. Yeah. No. <sighs> Uh, so wait, should we save that part for last? Because that's the best. Okay, okay. So we here, always save the best right, for last. Well, here I think is the original entrance, um, the yes. door frame, original door frame here with the wood planks, and then you see the original masonry, which is much. The brick is much older, crumbling. It's got. Uh, it's single, not as it's, even, you know, like right, It's just more typical of that style of brick for the 1850s when it was mm -hmm. when it was built. Another wall though has been put on. No, this is original. This is old brick. Is it? So this was the exterior wall here, and here's the door frame that you would have seen. So I think possibly some wood would have been here that's not here anymore to hold the door open. Probably. Because I don't see Sorry, another guys. plank over here. No, I didn't but see any either. But um, was there. that the spot where we saw the nails? Is this it, or am I The confused? nails are yes, yes, right here. So you guys can see those are some of those square nails that mm -hmm. gives you that indication of an older build. Mm -hmm. And also, you can look here. Where's that hole in the ceiling? That um, I thought it was farther. Yeah, okay, it's farther. Oops. Okay. So we're going farther into the attic. Or not attic. We're, I know basement. Where we are. we're in a basement. We're in the basement. <laughs> and it's um, interesting because if you look in this particular area, which I think was the original cellar, the walls and the undersides of these wooden floors were painted. So that gives you an indication yeah, that it was a seen. space that was being utilized. Yeah. They wanted it for aesthetics, possibly to look nicer. Probably used as a cellar. Maybe a root cellar. Probably not a wine cellar at that point. <laughs> I don't know. You never but, know. Uh, no, maybe a dairy of some sort. or Anyways, a cellar. And um, we were. the question was, were these floors original or not? Mm -hmm. And because they weren't quite matching the floors that we saw upstairs when we were inside the house. Was that the hole? No. Wait, oh. yes. Yeah, the hole. Okay. 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 So we found this hole here. And there, right there, you can see that the original floor is where we are. But on top of it has been laid some planks mm -hmm. at some other point that we don't think are original. Yeah, so there still might have been planks on top of this flooring mm -hmm. originally, but I don't think it was those. Oh, Original door. door frame there, that's nice. Or window. Window, yeah. I'm just all over the place. Well, you're just so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, so excited. <laughs> but, like, again, you can see it here. You can see how it's been painted, mm -hmm. um, whether, or maybe also as a ceiling sealant, I'm sorry, not a sealing, but a sealant yeah, yeah. to keep moisture out, just That's like true. today with kills or something yeah, like that. Yeah. You might have that. You, you're mm -hmm. also hoping that, you know, bugs aren't going to get in. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, uh, wait, well, hold on, sorry. Oh, okay. okay, there is an entry here, a hole yes. that possibly was a window. Well, it probably was. Yeah, there is a board there, so. Okay. But, somewhere on the other side, there's a door that I'm going to show you a minute from the outside because I can't crawl up there because I don't have permission. Not because I wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> but so somewhere over on that other side, there's a large open space, which tells me that was probably more of, instead of a cellar, more of just a crawl space underneath. But mm -hmm. it was enclosed at some point, and then they added the door. So when I get a closer look through that door, we might be able to get some sort of an idea of age yeah. to it. But when they enclosed that area mm -hmm. in the basement, so anyways. So, um, but yeah, you can guys get a really good yeah. idea of the paint. Go ahead, the yeah. paintwork and the bricks, and just. You know, how that all... Now, it's funny, though. They don't have any... Um, am I not seeing it? Any bricks going the opposite direction every few levels? Am I missing that? Are they all... Thank hitters. you. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, wait. I think I see yeah, it. Yeah, there are. I there see are. it. There there's it is, where that black here, spot here. is. Yeah, there's yeah. some here and here. So you can... There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I think these are footers. I 
can't tell because of I don't think yeah it's hard to tell it's but hard I was, to tell how many between are between each one but yeah that was yeah. you know we always look at those kind of things too but also you can see Amy I don't know if you noticed way at the bottom though those aren't bricks right is that a stone a stone foundation so you've got yeah. you've got a stone foundation mm -hmm. too so yep. always be on the lookout for that too yeah okay so the area the thing that we said was so cool that we haven't seen before right is this area here now can you tell the brick the masonry here is rounded and then there's a large enclosed well there's actually a brick well here now it has been filled in so of course you can't you know fall in too far but the fact is, if this was the exterior wall to, to the left here, right. then this was the well, which was just outside the house. Right, near the kitchen located. space. Yeah, probably stuff. near a kitchen space of some sort, near the cellar, obviously. Um, but that's just interesting that this is the original well to the house. It does look original. It does look old enough to be 1850s or, at, at the very least, a 19th century um, creation. I don't I think quite understand she's thinking, why it's here. I think she's thinking, how do I get in and dig in there <laughs> yes, and yes. see what's inside oh of it? That's if what she's I thinking. I could, could read her mind. dig and sift through that dirt, I would. I could read her I mind know. on that one. I know. I know. Seriously. I would love to. So, I know you would. I yeah. Know. Um, anyways, yes. So maybe someday we will. But, but, you, but you also... As you're saying, there's this, if you put your yeah. flashlight, there's a wall yeah. there. There's something keeping you from going, walking straight up to the well. Yeah, like and a I don't bit. understand why it's curved right here, why we have this little bump here. I don't quite understand. I'd have to take a lot more investigation to kind of guess what that's all about. I can't see on the other side to see if there, there's a hole in there. Let's see, see uh, told y'all she's going to go in there. That's solid. I don't know. I don't know. But I do have pictures that we've taken with Flash, yeah. so you guys will yeah. post it, too, so you can see. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just, this is so, so cool. Yeah. Do you, um, I'm going to step back out, but do you mind turning off the light so that the... Nope. The, not at all. Because we were trying to be nice people and make sure we turn off stuff behind us. So, yeah. And, again, you guys can see that it's cinder blocks here. But the outside has got the stonework, but it's not necessarily old stonework. It's stacked. It's 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 probably newer. Um, put, obviously, put in when the addition was. In. Now it could be stones from around here. I have no idea. But um, again, it's a stacked up until you get to the house. So, and then I think there's. Let me just explore while she's doing some things. Look, there's a little seating area back here. Oh, look, there's more parking. I never really noticed. Oh, you can hear the trains. There's another view of the gazebo. So hydrangeas, all this lovely stuff, kind of through somebody's house. But yeah, you can kind of get an idea. So this, um, I didn't mention it before, but this property, when it was deeded from the Bensons, was deeded property, and it was three and a half acres total. So that's why it's a pretty good uh, chunk of land right here. Um, we were debating whether or not it was, um, where'd the land come from? Was it... Oakton land was it? Oakton's tran in that direction. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, it could have been a Tranquilla land. I don't. I don't. We don't know. Back so. Then they did have a lot of acres. All the bigger homes had a lot mm -hmm. of land to them. So again, I don't, yeah. I don't know. And I and I would hazard a guess that the property where the neighborhood is, um, which that was part of this original property, uh, mo more than likely because it's just it's um. It's just, it's so close that it, it, it would seem kind of unusual. We... I would like to get us, uh, I wonder if any relic hunters have been out here and covered the, the yard to see. I'm sure there were some outbuildings, mm -hmm. possibly a dairy, a barn, a outhouse. Mm -hmm. uh, One of, house. yeah, the 1880 census, um, the reason I, I should have gone into it, but I don't have a lot of information. We do know for 1880, though, that there was an African-American woman here as the cook. And then there was another African American man here, uh, who was the man working the farm. Mm -hmm. So there must have been some sort Their of names are listed, aren't they? Yes, uh, Savannah Savannah Pickens and James Tripp. And I did a little bit of research. There was a James Tripp 
but I couldn't really go past 1880 to find anything. So we'll keep, we'll always yeah, keep looking. Yeah, um, and then in 1940, when the Bensons lived here, there was a servant named Howard Robinson. And I did find an obituary for a Howard Robinson in 1979, born in 1940. So that passed, or not born, born in 1900, here in 1940, time-wise could be sure. very, um, sure. very likely. So we'll keep trying to find information on the African Americans who worked in these homes and as well. Here as and well. lived here, yeah, they were they were in the census records as living here. So uh, let's go this direction. I'm, can yeah. I do want to? Oh yeah, underneath. Looks like they lost a tree. You guys can see. So, yeah, there's a tree loss. But yeah, we're going up this way, back up and around. So this, of course, is the addition Yeah. on this area here. That is the big room that we were in, correct? If I'm not correct. mistaken. Correct. Yeah. Right, that's the big. Now, someone might look at this exterior basement area and think, oh, that's original because it's stone. And it's not yeah. because on the other side is where you find... The, um, the center, block. the center yeah. blocks, and that's a newer addition. Mm -hmm. So it's just made to look old. Mm -hmm. But if you continue down here, I'm going to. Do you want to take this with you? Yeah. She's going to go down, down in there, there and I'm just going to make sure she can get back out. Okay. <laughs> so um, again, we think these two are additions. So. Okay, I got it. Yep. Okay. All right. So if you. Oh, I didn't mean to turn it on me. Hold on. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. All right, I got my hand on it. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. Here we go, folks. Oh, i got to get my big rear end between the AC unit and everything else. Okay. Okay, I just want y'all to know I'm crawling, like, on my knees. Okay, here we go. That's what I do for history. Okay. Here's that door I was talking about. It's interesting. Okay, so it's it's got a uh, almost a B-board uh, look to it. So I, again, I don't know with metal that have, that has enclosed it on the outside. So I don't know how old that is. But originally around the house, I think if you look over there, you can see there's just different styles of stonework of masonry. So you've got the brick, which looks a lot newer. But to the right over there in the corner, that stonework does look older. And then here is more kind of a stucco look on top of probably rocks, similar to what we saw inside the cellar area. And then you've got more different styles of brick. So it's obviously been patched up over the years. I don't, I, you know, I, I come on here, I don't really know exactly what the story is and when they put what, but I just think it's interesting to note that over the years, they did add on different areas. Those could have been original support systems for the a porch of some sort. And then it was enclosed and then this was another area that or a door that gave you entrance under the house to the crawl space that was in that area under the basement that we weren't we couldn't crawl back to. So, anyways, I just thought that was fun. Okay. We can crawl back to today. Hey, that's right. Today. Oh, Lord. Today. Okay. Oh, let's see. I'm gonna hand it to Krista, and then I'm gonna squeeze my way out of here. Oh, All right, y'all. You got a pleasure right there. Right? She made told it. you I'd do it. Uh, she did. Woo. She said she'd do it, and <laughs> she did. So uh, we are going to kind of go, go. I'll just go around the side just for a little bit, just so you can get a full view of this. And we will wrap this up. You know, um, to be honest, at the beginning we were concerned we wouldn't have enough to talk about. Um, I think we've got a good hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> But you can see, oh, you know what, I didn't notice that before. I'm going to go over this way just a second. But it's got, like, little, hold on, cars. You might not be able to see them. But you guys might see right between the trees, there's these little, like, roof peaks hidden up there. Do you see those? Little roof peaks. There's no windows. But there's these little roof peaks. Um, uh, there we go. Right there. Sorry, it's blurry. It's trying to focus on my finger. But right there and right there. A little bit. But I think since that's the addition, I just hmm, wonder what's up there. All right. Journey through the house is yes. over. Yes. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm all dirty. No, it's 
Well, then, dirty. as I say, then you didn't do it right. So I'll have to do it again. Um, okay, guys, so we will see you next week. Thank you for the sticking with us. Yes, all, all right. our technical difficulties. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this. Yeah. And next week, we hopefully will be outside. I think it's going to be nice. Next I week. think so, too. So, yeah, yeah, we should be. We'll up. be outside at a, probably a park. That is also celebrating 40 years. But it has molds in it. It does. Dun, dun, dun. dun. All right, guys. Bye.